really horrific crime in San Francisco's Japantown has shocked just about everyone who has heard about it. Gavin Boston, a security guard who was just trying to do his job, was shot to death by a teenager, says police. Small business owners say crime has become a part of their day-to-day -day lives, but it's usually shoplifting. They say this has shaken them to their core. Tonight, we have new surveillance images allegedly showing one of the suspects standing next to the victim before he was killed. Our Betty Yu shows us what happened next. We're outside the Japan Center Mall, where you can still see one bullet hole from Wednesday's deadly shooting that took the life of security guard Gavin Boston. On Friday, people who knew him and those who just learned of his story came by to pay their respects. These surveillance photos capture the final moments of 40 year old Gavin Boston's life. Police arrested a 15 year old who was charged with murder. A 14 year old boy was charged with being an accessory. Several workers said Gavin only started working at the mall on Webster Street about a month ago. One worker who didn't want to show her face on camera said she heard the gunfire. Usually the mall's pretty rowdy. We have teens come in a lot with skateboards, so I thought it was just like boxes dropping. She said in the short time he was there, Gavin was always kind and friendly. Even when we have like people yelling at him and like people yell at us too, um, he never yelled back. He was also like just really calm, so it's honestly just really shocking. He more, if anything, said hello to us. Um, yeah, just make sure, like, you know, he's there to support us, so he'd say good morning. It would be the last time Gavin said good morning to her on Wednesday. Police said he was shot and killed just after 5 p.m. Gavin's sister previously told us her brother was just escorting the teens out of the mall and was shot in the head. On Friday, some people came to the mall with heavy hearts. Just, you know, because I know the community's torn up about this. And I didn't know him personally, but I do love being here. So I appreciate all the guards that you know try to keep us safe. He was just doing his job. In the fall, DA Brooke Jenkins reintroduced a new policy that would allow prosecutors to charge 16 and 17 year olds as adults in certain egregious cases. In this one, she stated that by law, her office can't ask the court to determine if this case should be handled in the adult court because the suspect is under 16. Jenkins revealed that the 15 year old has a prior record. This case is especially tragic and disheartening. In a previous case involving this minor, my office sought to intervene by seeking to hold him in custody where he could have begun rehabilitative services. Sadly, the court ruled otherwise. You know, I feel bad for his family and his loved ones. It's just, it's really hard on all of us. The 15 year old teen charged with murder will be arraigned on Monday. That case will be handled by the juvenile court, which is required by state law.